Hey guys, welcome to today's 1-6 Galaxies video. Today we are going to be looking at the Ensign Harry Kim by EXO from their Star Trek Voyager Starfleet Museum line. Um, for whatever reason, the ship that this guy comes in is marked EXO-62. Uh, there's definitely not 62 EXO figures, so I don't know how they've started allocating the numbers to them but it is what it is. Um, one quick thing I would mention as well is that in their promotions for the figure, uh, they said that there was going to be extra pips uh, for um, Kim if you wanted to promote him to Lieutenant instead of Ensign, because it never happened throughout the series. However, um, I would definitely buy, even though they, so they didn't include the pip, and now they're saying that they're going to send the pip in an envelope um, you may or may not get tracking. You probably won't get tracking. It's ick, though. Um, the thing about it is, though, is you pretty much have to risk wrecking the figure's shirt to replace the pip, so I just wouldn't worry about it. Um, it's a gimmick. I don't really care about it. It is what it is. All right, looking at the box, it's similar uh, to all the other boxes we've gotten. Um, there is a picture of the figure there, uh, which I will say has much better paint apps than the prototype. Um, it's been questioned again and again and again that the person that takes uh, the prototype pictures is useless um, and everything always comes out looking much better than their pictures um, but it's an issue that um, Nair Jim and EXO just um, ignore and he just pretty much blocks whoever um, challenges it and we all saw what happened um, with Octobotamus there uh, which was quite unfortunate but hey if that's the way the CEO wants to be that's the way the CEO can be um, it's their decision but I reckon it's the wrong decision uh, so we can see the rest of the lineup there there's a picture of um, some of the other crew that we've previously gotten and some that we don't of course there's the um, Paris next to seven of nine there um, the Paris prototypes are a joke. We'll see if they turn out as good as this guy did. We'll see. Um, but at the moment, absolutely nothing um, is going to persuade me to buy that Paris unless it comes out looking solid. Uh, so the back of the box gives us the image of the figure and then the accessories that it comes with as per always. Uh, no instructions because you've got to um, follow the link, uh, follow the QR code on the box. Uh, that will allow you to um get those instructions uh there's the museum ensign harry kim logo on the bottom there uh but like always that's our box um so because we've gotten so many of these now i'm just going to pretty much fly through it um we get two fisted hands which are pretty decently painted with um, some different textures there. Um, I've already swapped out the um, relaxed hands, but there's the relaxed hand that comes on the figure. There's the other relaxed hand that comes on the figure when you open it. Um, and then we get these standard accessories uh, that we've always got in the two magnetic holsters. So the one for the phaser, the one for the tricorder and then as always um, we get the tricorder with the printing uh, which is magnetic because you can just simply fold it and it goes into two pieces so when you open it you just take out the second piece and you connect it but if you've gotten as many of these um, by now you would know that Uh, and then, of course, we have the Voyager-style phaser. Uh, he also comes with the pad. Um, and we also get the EXO signature archive. Um, Anton Harry Kim shows you that he's from Voyager. Uh, and then we have the standard display stand, uh, which has the transporter pad, um, but you can, of course, swap it out um, for the alternate look, if that's what you want to do. The thing just slips up, the, um, the plastic just slips up, and you can replace it. Alrighty. 
Um, so as you can see, the paint applications on this figure are actually too bad. And they do look a lot better than what the um, prototype did. I do think it is a different sculpt uh, to what was shown in the prototype. And it does um, do the character justice. So it um, definitely looks better. You can see the single... You can see the symbol pip, and basically what they were saying was, is if you really wanted to, you could try and pull that off, um, because it's glued there, and then you could glue on the lieutenant pip if that's what you really wanted to do. Um, again, I would advise against that, because you don't want to wreck your figures, having paid as much as what we've paid for them. Um, so I definitely would advise against wrecking your figure. And um, we can, of course, see the Starfleet badge. Um... You can see the holsters clip, they are magnetic. You have the standard suit that the previous characters have had, of course, this time with the yellow. You can see a side profile. Um, you can see the back of the head, the hair is done quite nicely. Just the plain back of the plain black back of the gum suit, the yellow top there. Um, so articulation wise, it's going to be pretty much the same as Tuvok and Chikate, um, in the sense that you're going to get a, a decent range of motion. Um, it's just going to be the jumpsuit that hinders it a little bit, but not too much. Um, but again, I don't really think you're going to be doing um, too many crazy poses because most people just have them with the um, phase or the tricorder out like I will be um, and then we are back to the front um, so as I said uh, overall it's not too bad um, I think after the conversions and everything this guy came to about 305 so nowhere near as much as what um, 7 of 9 was uh, and not quite as much as what Tuvok was can't remember, I think Shikate, Shikate may have been 340 maybe. Um, it, it just depends on the exchange rate and the shipping rate never seems to change. Um, yeah, I would have gotten this guy earlier, but there were uh, postage hold up, hold ups. Um, so it took an extra four days, five days for me to get this guy. So I really shouldn't have, I really should have got him um, this time last week. Um, but yeah, overall, this has been a quick look at the Harry Kim. As I said, the next figure being released is the Paris, but um, the prototype looks abysmal. Um, we'll see if it comes out. Uh, the last thing I'll mention is, of course, you do get the extra bag of goodies with the connectors uh, that allow you to um, connect the stands together in your displays. But like always, um, you can pull out the plastic, uh, the clear clip, uh, from that bag and that can just hold uh, that there similar to a nameplate um, So that's a nice touch as well. Anyway guys, this has been a quick look at the Harry Kim um, hopefully uh, You got some detailed information out of it as I said um, We've gotten quite a few of these figures now and it is just stock standard with the only difference really being the sculpt and maybe the changing of one um, Or two accessories uh, but overall, each character consists of the same accessories, same jumpsuit. Um, yeah, it's just different from character to character. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed.